Hello everybody. On this short video we're going to show you how to buy, download, unzip, and get started with our downloadable clip art. Let's start off on our website at mysupplyhut.com. From there go inside clip art fonts and templates. Now scroll down and let's add a clip art set. We'll go into the clip art section and let's scroll down and we'll come to the variety one pack. Click on add to cart. You'll get a message that says that this has been added to your cart. Click on OK. And if you look here in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that it's been added. Now let's go back and we'll add a text font. So we we'll come over here to our shop by category and this time we're going to choose text sets. Here we have a few different text sets. I'm going to choose casual 2 inch and click on add to cart. That message will pop up again. It says it's been added. Click on OK. Now we can proceed to checkout. Simply click on checkout now. If you're a returning customer, put in your email address and password. If you're a new customer, sign in and get everything so you can check out. Let me go in and add my email address and my password. If you'd like, you can click on Remember Me, and each time you come in here, it'll remember you, and you can just click on Sign In and Check Out. Now, because you're a returning customer, or if you've already put this information in, all of your shipping address and your billing address is already in the system. Click on Next. Now, at this screen, there's no shipping because you're going to be downloading your uh, designs. However, if you have a coupon code or a gift certificate, you can enter the coupon codes here or the gift certificate here. Make sure that you check on that you've read the return, shipping, and privacy policies. And then choose how you heard about us. Hey, if you want to, put my name in there. Click Next. Now at this point, you're ready to check out. So scroll down, put in your payment method, and then click on Place Order. After you've paid for your order, scroll down and you'll see these two areas right here which are highlighted. Now, you can either download from here or when you get your receipt in your email, you can download from there as well. You'll notice that you have only one chance to download your designs. So when you download your designs, you're going to want to save them in a safe place. Let's start by downloading Variety Pack 1. I'm going to click here, and that's going to take us to a download page. Now, you'll want to follow these instructions specifically, how to download the file. So click on the Download Now link below. That's right here. And now we want to save this zipped file. So we click on Save. And wherever you normally download your files is where you want to send them to. So I'm going to download it here. I'm going to create a new directory and I'm going to call it Rhinestone Clip Art. And then I'm going to place this zip file inside of the directory. Now I have the zip file downloaded and I can work with it from there. So I can now close this window. And now what I want to do is I want to go to where I have the file and I want to unzip and extract the files. So let me minimize this window. And I'm going to go where the file has been downloaded. I'm going to right mouse click and tell it to extract all. Now here with Windows Vista, it's asking us to select a destination folder to extract the files to. Now it automatically wants to go ahead and extract them to where you have the original clip art. Just leave it there and click on extract. The next window that comes up looks exactly like the first window, but if you look over on the left hand side, inside of there is another folder with all the extracted files. Now from here you want to open up the instructions PDF by just double clicking on it, and these instructions will guide you through the rest of the way of working with the artwork. Now what this flyer talks about is how that one size hole does not fit all. All systems and cutters cut holes differently, and we've included in that unzip file a test cut template and four different size hole templates. So the idea is to 
uh, first start with the test cut template to find out which size best fits your system. If you cut the template out and you brush the stones in, say the 10SS stones, and you find that they go in and out easily in column number three, then you want to start using the number three file to import into CorelDRAW or your design software. So based on the sample cuts is how you determine which file to import into your design software. Let's go back and take a look at that zip file one more time. As you can see here in the zip file, there's the instructions PDF that we were just reading, the test cut template that we were just talking about, and then the four different versions of the clip art based on the size of the holes that your system is able to cut properly. Let's quickly go back and we will download the other file and go through the process one more time. You can see here from the first download, I now have no downloads remaining. So that means I can't download it again. That's why it's important to save the zip file to your computer before you do anything else. Let me go back a page, scroll back down. Now I have the second one that I want to do, so I'll click on that file. And now I have a download again, so I'm going to click on Download Now. Click on Save. Now this has its own unique file name, so you could save it under Rhinestone Clip Art again. So I'm going to go ahead and save this under Rhinestone Clip Art, the, the directory that I created. Once it's finished, I'll click on Close. Then I'll go back to where the file has been saved. Now what I want to do is right mouse click on the new zip file that I want to unzip, tell it to extract all. Leave it in the same spot where it's at so it'll create a new folder for us. Click on Extract. Now all the information has been extracted. You'll notice that the new extracted file does not say .zip at the end. Some of you might not be able to see that. But you can also see the difference in the way that the two folders look. One has a zipper on it, the other one doesn't. So we'll go into this clip art directory now, which is the other piece of clip art. And you'll find another drop down. In there again, you'll find the instructions, the, another test cut template. Now, each test cut template is exactly the same. So once you've done it once, you don't need to do it again. And from here, you're able to go ahead and choose whichever one, two, three, or four that fits your system to import into your design software. So that will finish this short video on how to buy, download, unzip, and get started with our downloadable clip art.